coming up in today's episode of Rooting Through Greater Manchester. Now, I know what you're thinking, Optair in 2024. So these are actually still branded as Optair, um, and this model was not meant to be still in production. Okay, we're in Middleton bus station again. Now, no, don't worry, unlike last episode, we're not going to be here multiple times. Just the one visit today. And that's actually on the 1648. We're the 1703, so we left before that one, but that one's been given time to go ahead of us. Plus, this bus then got lost, because apparently that's a theme of uh, the B network now. Yes, this is Routing Through, the series where I attempt to ride every bus route in a specified ceremonial county. And I decided to make the pilot series coincide with the launch of the B network here in Greater Manchester. Roll the intro. Yes, hello boys, girls, and welcome to my name is Michaela, and welcome back to a very quick intro for the next episode of Rooting Through Greater Manchester. Now, unfortunately, my 135 into Barry here was a bit late, so I'm going to quickly jump on our first bus, which is 48103, and I'll tell you more about the bus when we get on board. Um, but yeah, we're doing the 475 to start the day from here in Barry over to Haywood. Yes, sorry for the slightly rushed intro there. Um, I literally had two minutes to make this connection just then. But welcome aboard 48103. So this is one of four 24 plate Optair Solo SRs. Now I know what you're thinking, Optair in 2024. So these are actually still branded as Optair, um, and this model was not meant to be still in production. Um, the model of the Solo SR was replaced, or dropped, sorry, for a very short wheelbase in Metro City on the electric range. Our switch were going to go fully electric. However, um, at the end of 2023, when a lot of their buses had a lot of issues with a certain issue, fire, um, there was some concern, so they reintroduced the Solo SR for Stagecoach, um, who actually didn't want better cities anyway, um, and these four are not staying in the region, these are on hire, um, as it turns out, they're only on short-term work here, but they are painted in B-network colours, um, so it is a bit odd, but um, yeah, I'll give you more details about the route we're on, the 475, when we get about halfway along. So the SR was, of course, not dropped officially, but they stopped really producing it around 2018. Um, with this short Metro City introduced as an electric replacement, and there was never a continuation of the electric version of the Solo SR. There is a couple that exist, of course, but they weren't reliable enough. Now, Switch Mobility uh, relaunched production of it, the type under the Octair brand, in October last year. Now, the order is an order of 60 of these plus 10 Switch Metro City EVs. And the 10 Switch Metro City, no, Metro City, sorry, the 10 of them, they're for the W11 in London. However, the Solo SR order is for a general UK order to replace all the older Octair solos in the country. Now, of course, as we know, down in London, they have a bunch of the uh, 8.5 meter ones that they inherited from HCT Group. And this one has got a screen that's also like an eyeglass on it, so I suspect these four will pass to London after their short work in Manchester. But what I will say is the reason these are here, of course, is if you don't remember, around about the same time as um, these were re uh, entered into production, about two, three weeks later, uh, Mellor announced they were into administration, so both Stagecoach and First are expecting some Mellor Strata Ultras for their fleets, um, but they currently are not arriving yet. They are just beginning production in the past month or two, so they are a bit delayed. So there's a lot of spare buses being used from across the country, like these. So the 475 was previously the B4 service, and it runs from Berry through to Hayward via Heathrow Bridge. It's a very short route, it takes 20 minutes in total, um, and then it does a small minor circular after it terminates, and then heads back into Berry. Um, I say circular, it's just like round the corner and back again. Um, and then the other routes that Stagecoach 1 uh, in this kind of concept were the old B1, which is now the 477, and the old B2, which is now the 487. Uh, those two routes, plus this one came over to Stagecoach. They want it in the Queen's Road Large franchise, which is interesting. So Queen's Road will be getting the Mellon Stratus. Um, but because they're getting Mellon Stratus and then the old previous routes from the first will also be running with the Stratus, it means that despite being different operators now, the vehicles will be completely the same once the full is out and running. So uh, for locals to the routes, seeing the same buses on all the routes will be quite nice. 
Again, the numbering scheme was changed. Uh, Transdev changed up to prefix roots to make them a bit more, I guess, local feeling. I'm not too sure the exact reasoning, but the old numbers were brought back to make the roots more, uh, feel more natural in the regions they're in. I will be doing quite a few of these old prefix roots in today's video. I'll see you all when we reach Haywood Market Street. Okay, in hindsight, that probably isn't going to be the case with what I was saying about London with those, because obviously London actually now, I've just been thinking about it, they're only allowed to order like electric and hydrogen, essentially, buses. So I think they just use the same screens for other parts of the country, but especially because the back has the full display as well. They sound different too, obviously, because they're re-entered into production. Now, I don't know if they're going to get the full B network livery. I don't know if I've seen any that do. They have the yellow for now. Um, I guess it depends on how delayed the metal stratas are. Now, I'm walking here deliberately. Um, I have half an hour here so I can do this. So, we've just got off of Haywood Market Street. Now, I did cover Haywood, the area, when we did Haywood Library. And the reason I'm walking is because if you walk from that stop there, literally around the corner, just down here and across the road in front of me, you'll find the Haywood Library stops. And I believe, that, well, as you've just seen, the 475 does sort of act as a circular. It officially terminates there on bus times um, and on timetables in general, but I think it works as a circular because it then just continued on from there. But then it was six minutes late, so if it did have to terminate, um, certainly it was running six minutes late, so it would have been due out anyway. But nonetheless, the reason I can't get off there and you have to get off the Market Street, um, the official terminus point, is because of the 433, which we're doing next, um, is starting from there. It goes from there, sorry, it doesn't go around to the library, it then continues down the other road to the uh, left hand side. The, yeah, left hand side there, if you're walking in that direction. And I'll see you guys when the 433 pulls up. I'm going to quickly go find a little shop to buy a couple of drinks. Okay, and welcome aboard 47632. This is an ex First West Yorkshire right street light or forward. Um, and this one is on the 433. So I'll have to do this one in one clip, it's only on this for about 10 minutes. Um, the 433 was the B4 under the old route number it's killed. And this service runs from Berry through Hayward up to Wales. Um, Northern it did, it does connect with another route, actually into worse with it at Northern Edenfield Road. Um, I can't remember the exact route number and all that one now, I'll put it on the screen if I remember to. But anyway, um, on this service, it runs from Bury and from there it heads via Fern Road, Fairfield General Hospital, Haywood, Bamford, Edenfield, and then which Northern is Terminus Point. Now it does also to spend a little time in Shawfield, which is where we're getting off, um, and we'll be changing there for another service, and I'll tell you more about that when we get there. just slightly so we'll ignore that um, we are now at Stansfield Edenfield Road now this road run is Edenfield Road um, the stop itself doesn't seem too severe uh, you can alight here for this sort of, there's a green space next to me and there's a walk path walking path which from here I can see is called the and the Metcalf way so it's like a public walking path so it is somewhat of a place you can get off for there so I think it does count but also from here there is a direct interchange with the next route we're doing which is the 461. Uh, this service uh, does a circular from here in the direction I'm facing now. So we're going to get on it in that direction shortly. Uh, but we do have a bit of time to kill here. And then we're going to do the circular and then come back in and do it all the way to, to Rochdale. I'm actually on this path. It's not actually a walking path so much. It is just the walkway's name um, through this. I wouldn't call it a park. It's just like a greenery area. There's a 
a couple of football based stuff there's some football goalposts you can put out on these fields and obviously there's also a closed off area over there as there is a community primary school over there I won't film it because that's a bit odd but yeah it's just the name for this path I'm on now and it leads you on the other side over there again can't really film it because there's a primary school over there uh, but yeah it leads you over to just a residential area at the back there for here in Shawfield um, but yeah it's a lovely area and the views in the distance are very pleasant with a lot of hills as of course we are just nearing Rochdale which is as we already know um, right on the border of where a lot of the lovely hills into the Pennines uh, exist but anyway that's enough from me I'll see you guys when the next bus turns up okay so our next one is 47634 this is another extra street light from Leeds Stands at Park Depot and these two both did carry the city branding for something two years, but then uh, yeah, this one is one of a number of them, like the last one, came over from there. Okie so we have reached Rochdale Interchange. I covered this in episode 3, so I'll link that down below. Click the link for that, and then a relevant chapter on the video to see more information on this. Um, but yeah, last time I was here, of course, it was before B Network, so it's very much more yellow now. But there is still a couple of other routes, like the 464, which are still not part of it, and they never will be. I'll see you guys on the next bus. Oh, also, I wanted to mention, because I forgot about it, and I even though I stood right next to it. Uh, just here is 69305. It's one of a handful of Volvo B7 Rally Rice Clips Urbans, um, which have come up as trainer vehicles now. Uh, that one we actually last saw uh, when we were in Leicester doing the bus spotting video uh, down there. But yeah, one of them, comically, has returned turn to Leicester as a trainer so uh, yeah if you do see that in Leicester that one was going to stay here and then they changed their mind last minute but that is first group for you but yeah I also did mention that one we were just on was for first grade to Manchester of course not for stagecoach like the first one but anyway enough of that let's get away for the next bus
Okay, so the 434 was previously the R7 and is probably the most convoluted of the old prefix groups. So it does provide a somewhat important link in terms of it running from Rochdale to Middleton. But of course that link exists on the 17 and that's much quicker than this one. But this service taking us six, a total of 61 minutes to do the full run. Now, it can be key uh, for other reasons too. It actually serves three different business parks on its route. Um, it serves uh, the business park we went through in the beginning there with the Asda Warehouse. It serves um, a business park not long after Kirk on uh, Stake Hill, and it serves another one just towards the middle to end as well. So it has a lot of key businesses that it serves, so during the busy morning and evening peak times, this route has a lot of people on board, especially with running at an hourly frequency like all the prefix routes or X prefix routes we've done so far. Now, when it was under um, Transdev, obviously, when it was the R7, it used to only really use street lines and the older Environ 200s, and actually then be mostly the YX13s towards the end. So the Eclipse 2 that we're on now is actually a bigger bus than it used to see, so it is an improvement in that sense. We're currently going around the Kirkholm section of the route. This is the point where it runs alongside the 406, but in this direction it's actually the only bus to go that way, whereas the other way the 406 and the 434 both go there. So that's a good point, since the 406 is a circular. But yeah, heading from Rochdale, where we've got on, of course, the route heads by Belfield, Fir Grove, Turf Hill, Kirkholm, where we are now, Castleton, a place called Truck, which I think is hilariously named, Stake Hill and Warshaw, and it has three circular points. The as the warehouse is one. This is a diversion point, so there's that. The Stake Hill Business Park part um, in this direction is not a circular, but the other way it is because it comes up, goes around, and then back out again, so it goes the same way in both directions of the route. And then finally, the Borshaw section is also a circular, but it does around the local roads, uh, local roads in that area. In this direction, it might be like a diversion thing, like a sort of dive just off the back again, I'm not too sure. But yeah, so it's quite a convoluted route, and I reckon about all those extra additions, it's going to be about 40 45 minutes to do this full route um, instead of the 61 that it takes at the moment. Now, don't worry, unlike last episode, we're not going to be here multiple times, just the one visit today. This is where I'm taking my lunch break, and then we're going to do another route from here, a route mentioned last time, the 116. So I'll see you when I get on board that route shortly. Also, I wanted to mention, um, that one did actually have it, the 434 has not been updated. When first group took over the Rochdale Depot, um, I don't know who designed the LED displays for them, but it was not great, because they all had, like, bolded capital letters for their destinations and that one, the 434, still hasn't been changed yet. Some of them have been being done, but not all of them, um, and I just think it's so unprofessional, so I can't wait for those to finally be updated. Okay, we're on 36778, so we have another of the MX 62s of course these are the ones that were new to Wigan, transferred earlier on. Um, in these cases, these ones were a bit of the depot when it passed to the Beano one, so they remain there. And I do believe that these MX Institutes will be painted further down the line. But yeah, I'll give you a look around the 116, and I will give you a quick rundown of the route, but it won't be as much as the 115, because we've already done that one.
778 has brought us on the 116 to the stop here at Harper Hay Asda. Um, we are now going to be getting the Route 81 from here. Um, I originally planned this for a Saturday and then I'm now doing it on a Tuesday, so then I had a read time again. I could have got one that's just left, so I still don't have to wait for the one I originally was going to get off of here. So that's how I reverse that. But I still have to now check all the times because they're slightly different um, on a Saturday so obviously, uh, compared to today. So I'm going to quick check on that. But I'll see you guys on board whenever we get on the 81. But before that, I should mention, so Harper Hay as the stop, we actually let you off here at Harper Hay Shopping Centre, which is of course a big key shopping point for the area. Um, not only do you have normal shops, but you've got the market over in that direction there as well. Um, so quite a lot of choice here if you need your shopping. So it is quite a nice uh, vital stop and quite a busy one as well. A lot of people get on and off here, but as you can see, the Asda is just there. Specification smart hybrid MMCs, um, stagecoach. Well, quite a number of these, they're still arriving. Obviously, they were delayed by the ADL strikes, um, and these were the vehicles that the new 73 flight uh, company order were, of course, covering for in the main fleet. Um, but yeah, we'll be on this one all the way up to Oldham on the Route 81. I'll be reading this on the route further enough. Another service that links Piccadilly Gardens through to Oldham um, bus station. Um, this one I did originally use to say, well, at one point say that it was related to the 83 and 84, it's actually not. Uh, this one is quite a unique one, um, similar to the 59, it does an alternative route between the two. However, the 81 does a very unique route. Um, what it does is from Piccadilly Gardens, it heads around Queen's Park, Harper Hay, Moston, Whitegate, and Werneth, um, and is the only one to provide a link to Piccadilly Gardens to a couple of those locations, specifically the last two. Um, as well as all at the exact same time. Now on weekdays it runs on a half hourly frequency, but on weekends it runs hourly. And that is why I nearly had one of us half an hour before this today, but I didn't originally plan for it. Um, but yeah, uh, the route gets a mixture of de double decker vehicles, uh, all the way from these new 24 plates, or the design super common on here, back to the uh, current temporary allegations of the hybrid uh, V5LH vehicles from Oxford and so on. Um, but yeah, we're on this one all the way to on the station, so I'll see you when we get there. Okay. okay, so we officially reached Oldham bus station now. This is a technically is Oldham West bus station, of course, as we said. And on bus times, they have now separated the two because obviously this walkway in the middle now. Um, but yeah, this is still one building. We're heading up to the main building for our next room, the 11. I just noticed one here that there's actually more than four of those solo SRs turning up. I know that there's like eight, maybe 11. There's a number of metal straps for Queen's Road. It looks like some more are turning up uh, for like Oldham Depot and stuff as well. As I've got a 48106 over there, which is interesting, but yeah, um, I'm gonna get on the next route to 411 and I'll see you when it turns up. Okay, you join me on the next one, it's 36786, so it's another MX62. This series is really the place for these to be going on, apparently, because I keep getting them. Um, anyway, we're on this on the 411, I'll more details of the route around the halfway around. Now, 
the roof appears to be a remnant of the older, older roofs. So if you don't know, um, until about 2019, 2018, around that time, the uh, first group ran a lot more roofs in Manchester than they did when they started closing depots, setting them off by the end of 2019. And a big area that was affected was older. And again, this is something that the media network has stopped to. Um, but what happened is a lot of the local routes around Oldham were either withdrawn completely or were merged into other routes. Um, so a lot of like pairs were merged into one route, uh, and that's why we have things like the uh, diversion to the, the, the 184, which originally did go all the way to Manchester, but that was later adapted to go around some local areas and towards where it then rejoins the 84 a little bit later on the route. And you can see that if you look at the route maps. Um, but yeah, and the 411 appears to be one of the remnants of those older services, as it's one of the shortest circuits in the, city, in the uh, area, taking just 27 minutes to do the full run. Um, it is an interesting route as well, um, we're between 27 minutes, I believe it, like, it basically has a lot of dead time, uh, and it does run hourly, except towards the evenings, where it then kind of goes a bit different, so there's a uh, 1400 departure, and then it's the 1535, and then the 1615, so they go all over the place in the evenings, I don't know what pause is it, but yeah, they really do go all over the place in those evenings. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it's quite a rattly ADL, so pretty classic for the Oldham Air 62s And I'll see you guys when we get back to Oldham. Okay, we're back in Oldham bus station now. We're going to be doing our next route, which is the 425. Now we're doing this one up to Oldham Mumps, but we're not doing just a short run, we're going to go up around the route and then get off on the, at Oldham Mumps on the way back. So yeah, I'll see you guys when it turns up. Okay, so the 1648 on this route, that one uh, didn't turn up, but I was scheduled to get the 1703 on my day anyway. We are on 13188, which is a white one of the um, Volvo P5 LH, right service channel 92 is from Oxford. Uh, it's not actually tracking as anything, as uh, the machine is not working, and I've just noticed there's one behind us, so maybe this is the 1648. I don't know, because this one can't log in as anything. But yeah, there's another one behind us, I don't know which that is. Uh, it's from the BN61. But yeah, um, I'm now going to do this route and I'll give you more details about it halfway around. Getting off 13188 there, we're now here at Oldham Mums Interchange. Um, Oldham Mums Interchange is not that long a distance from Oldham Bus Station. In fact, if you want to walk it, it's only about a 10-15 minute walk in that direction over there. But what you do have here is both a direct interchange with the trams, good timing, in fact, one is literally pulling up behind me. Um, with these providing links to, of course, uh, Rochdale in that direction, but then the way that I'm walking now towards the city centre and East Dinsby now, usually by Exchange Square, although of course that line is currently closed um, for through services, uh, they're now going by Market Street um, when going to East Dinsby until the, tr the track work is fixed at Victoria. But what you also have at Oldham Mumps Interchange 
is Oldham Bus Depot, which, until, um, of course, the B Network launched, was under first group for some time, in fact, the whole time since the privatisation of the buses around Manchester, some form of what became first Greater Manchester ran the depot. So it's the first time Stagecoach have run the depot, and it is apparently the most troublesome depot of the B Network, as as we now have seen uh, a couple of cases ourselves already. Anyway, what we are doing from here is we're going to be jumping on the 350 for our final route of the video. Now, we're going to do the 356. They're quite similar in a way, and I'll tell you more about that when we get on board. But yeah, we'll see what we get on the 350 when it pulls in. Now, the last bus makes it not a huge variety on bus types, but of course, the liveries. It's one of the blue ones from the Exhaust Dash. This one is 13193. Um, and again, this one is going to be take us on the 350. We're doing the whole route near enough, but obviously starting from Oldham Mumps rather than Oldham Bus Station. Underline interchange. Uh, we did cover this in our first Sunday service episode. I think it was five, might be four, but I'll, I'll put the number down below and put brackets for Ashton Underline interchange. But yeah, that is where we're finishing our day today. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. It has been quite the good one. Um, not so much as I said, variety in terms of vehicle types, but definitely liveries, and we've obviously covered quite a bit of ground as well. Today's episode, of course, we started over in Berry. We did the 475 from there to Haywood Market Street, uh, where we then changed for the 433, those two being, of course, ex prefixed route numbers. Um, the 433 we got over to Shawfield. Um, <clears throat> from there we then jumped on the 461 into Rochdale. Um, again, an ex-prefixed route. And then the final ex-prefixed route we did from Rochdale was the 434 all the way over to Middleton. 
That then sort of cut the day in half as we then did a lunch break and then came back to do the other parts of Manchester that we're doing today. With us then going on to the 116, obviously after like doing the 115 last episode. And from there we did that run to Harper, Hey Asda. Did the 81 up to Oldham. From Oldham we then of course did two local circulars, the 411 and then the 425. And we did that last one up to Oldham, I'm since changed we jumped on that 350 there at the end. Been a great day, I've truly enjoyed it, seriously, and I cannot wait to do another trip on this. Um, next week will be one more episode of this, and then after that we're going to be doing another Spain vlog. Um, so I hope you guys are excited to see that one. But yeah, I'm going to leave you now. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.